Okay, everyone. Um, welcome to a new series of Let's Plays focusing on Monster Train. I don't know how many of you have heard of this game. Uh, it's fairly new. Um, I think it's been really successful on Steam. It's got about 500,000 uh, purchases so far. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it deserves every single one of them. Um, I've been playing this game... Um, Got it a few weeks ago, hadn't played it yet, but saw that it was a collectible card game type thing, maybe a little bit like um, Slay of the Spire. Um, I was really big into Magic the Gathering and stuff like that, so I wanted to give this a chance, and um, I played it for about five hours last night and didn't get to bed till about 3 a.m. So considering that this game is fairly new, um, that um, I'm really into it right now, and I thought it would be a good game to stream for everybody because I'm trying to figure out how it works. I figure that people that don't know how it works or haven't seen this game in action might really get a kick out of uh, watching me um, bash my head against a wall while playing it. So anyways, this is Monster Train. Um, you are on a train to hell, um, and you are demons trying to stop, um, I believe, stop the angels from um, perpetrating the apocalypse. Um, I'll explain the game as we're going through it, but that's the premise of the story. And um, this is the, the uh, screen. All right, so we're going to start a standard run. I don't have any save to run because my last one just ended. Um, start a new run. Great. Um, so as you can see, I haven't unlocked most of the clans yet, or at least uh, two of the clans yet. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what they are, um, but I do have the Hellhorn, the Awoken, and the Stygian Guard. Um, I just unlocked the Stygian Guard a couple runs ago, maybe a run ago. Um, I've been using the Hellhorn a lot. Um, they seem to have a lot of strong monster spells, um, which I really like. And um, I've actually... I. Um, have been pairing them with the Stygian Guard that have some really, um, really, really strong um, spells for damage. Um, they seem to be affecting the um, primary, the, the first monster in each row, um, but that's okay. Um, it, they deal quite a bit of damage, so I, I've been liking pairing it with the Hellhorned. So anyways, um, we're going to select a part, and you'll see how this works. Um... So basically, um, you're kind of given random starting cards that you'll have throughout the course of your run. Or first, wait, let's get started up here. Okay, so first of all, um, at the top of your train is the Pyre. Um, that is basically the heart of your train. Um, it starts off with 80 health, um, and it um, also has 20 attack power, but I'll get into that later. Um, this is your deck. I have 11 cards in it right now. Um, 50 coins. Um, you use that for making purchases throughout your run and other other things. And then um, basically you have three boss battles until you um, you know win a run. Um, so you know the first ring, second ring, third ring, or sixth rings. You know whatever. I think it's after Dante's Inferno, whatever. Um, but anyways, they're at the third, sixth, and ninth ring. And then these are my random starting cards. So let's see what I've got here. Um, I don't know what he does. Um, the last time I lost to Seraph the something and. Uh, he might be similar, whatever. We'll, we'll worry about that if we get to him. Okay, so my random starting cards. So as you can see, um, it's um, three random starting cards. Um, in the corner is their Ember cost. Um, that is basically like your mana if you're used to Magic the Gathering. So all of these cards cost um, zero um, Ember to play, which is good. It means they're very flexible, and um, I don't have to worry about them um, when I'm doing um, Ember calculations. So this one, um, apply five armor. Uh, take that to basically mean um, five, five health, or five life. Um, armor is used up first before your card's health. Um, I, I'm sure there's abilities that go around armor. I haven't really run into them yet, but we'll deal with that if we come up, up to it. Um, this one, um, offering token, um, draw one, discard one. This, uh, this might be good. Um, I haven't run into a problem yet where I've got any cards in my deck I don't like, um, but especially late um, when the final wave is coming in and you're kind of limited for how many more draws you're going to have. This could be helpful um, to discard a card you can't use in the hopes that you get the one you do. Basically think about it um, like milling your own deck in Magic the Gathering. You're milling through your own deck to hope that you land the card you need for the certain situation. And um, this is actually a really good card. Um, there's a class of creatures in this called Imps. They're generally cheap to play, but they have a uh, summoning ability, um, whether it be to deal damage, give you Ember, something, right? Um, this one is you can summon him, and then you can... Um, um, 
de-summon and more or less draw a card and gain two ember. So like this is the flexibility card. And there are other cards that um, multiply based on how much ember you um, invest into them. Um, and cards like this can do a really good job of helping to pump up the damage of those cards. Okay, um, none of those are exactly what I was looking for to start off with, but um, we can work with it. Okay, so to start off the run, you've got two things here. The first is your Dark Forge, where you can upgrade your champion. Um, you'll have two options. So uh, my option is either Wrathful or Brawler. Um, so this one... This one is going to basically make it so that he's got 15 attack power, 15 health, and then every time he slays an opponent, he'll gain 10 armor. And if the um, um, revenge is if he kills him, right? Oh no, it's just when damage. So every time he gets damaged, he'll um, gain two rage. And rage gives you um, two extra attack power per stack, but it decreases every single turn. So it's kind of like it, it's constantly rising and falling. This one will give him 10 armor and multi strike. Um, I like this better because it makes him pumpable. Um, I'm sure this could be good later on, but just 10 armor is not that much. He's got less starting health, and um, a multi-strike with only 6 damage um, is pretty shit. So, um, so he'll, he would do 12 damage? I mean, it's, uh, no, I'm going to go with Wrathful. Um, and then the second thing we'll have here is this Horde. Um, you'll gain an artifact, so I'll have a choice of two. Um, um, let's see. You'll see what I mean, but um, basically units can ascend and descend your train. It'll mostly be enemy units, um, but your units can too, as long as you have a card for it. Um, I've never once used a card for that, so i do not really interested in this at the moment. Um, but Dazed is nice, because it basically means that a monster loses their turn. Um, this might be something that we come back to later in another run um, that might be useful. All right, sketches of salvation. At the start of battle, summon four random units from your deck on the middle floor. Oh fuck yeah, that is much better. Okay, so this is gonna be our first battle, and I'll explain to you what this means. Um, so basically, at the start of each battle, um, they tell you like what more or less gang you're gonna be fighting. Um, this is called the Gathered Clergy. Um, their angry swarms are swarming your titan, then their numbers before they reach your spire. Okay, that doesn't really give me much information about what their gimmick is, but if you um, mouse over their units, you can see what they do. Um, so it looks like all their clergymen start with a ra two rage. So they've got some increased attack power at first, and then let's see, chains of the sighted. Relentless. Um, Oh shit, these are always great. So there, there's going to be um, cards that I have to deal with that they'll put into my hand. Great, well, we're going to see how... Um... Shit. You know... You know what, I want to try to beat this run, so... I mean, I would like to get an extra unit card. You can put modifiers on battles that um, can help you... Um... Um, or to basically make the battle harder, but you'll get better better rewards for it. Um, okay, so basically, as you can see, there's a four-story train. At the top of your train is your pyre. That's your heart. You want to make sure that you don't um, that enemies do not get up there. Every single turn, enemies will enter at the base of your train. Um, you'll have a, a combat turn here where you can play your hand, and um, anybody that's left over on this um, line will move up to the second line, from there up to the third, and then finally up to the pyre. So you kind of get the earlier you can deal with them, the less you have to worry about them getting up here and damaging your pyre. But the pyre can defend itself, which is nice, um, and so we'll deal with that if anyone gets up there. I start off with my hero. He costs zero to play. Um, I like to put him down on the main floor for the most part, just so that he's in the battle, especially when he's pumpable like this. It's really good to have him um, basically in the, f in the scrum at all times. Um, this torch, I'll probably have to end up using this turn because this isn't a great starting hand, and I don't want to... Um, um, Lose too much right away. Okay, so this costs zero and will give my champion five armor. Not great, but it's better than nothing, and I don't have to pay anything for it. And then these, get, this will just thin out their herd a little bit. Um, for basically, um, 
nothing because see look all the hate cards i played went into my discard pile and that'll be shuffled back up into my deck um at some point so um as you can see i've used all my ember over here um and so i will end my turn and allow combat now one of the annoying things here is that um the enemies get first attack almost always unless you have a special ability on one of your cards they always get first attack you just can't do anything about it so you have to plan around it so here's the second wave um the same exact enemies um so i'm not too worried about them um one thing to point out here is that this collector guy um he'll show up on your train and um if you kill him um, before he flees you get um um you know whatever loot he's carrying you can see he's carrying a little treasure bag um, so you want to try to kill him if you can, because um, that 50 gold coins can actually be really useful. It, I know 50 doesn't sound like a lot in an RPG, and at most I would agree, but in this one, um, that 50 gold coins could buy you two and a half perks that you can use to upgrade your cards. So definitely try to kill him if you can. Um, I'm not particularly happy about the hand I've gotten here. Um, so I'm going to definitely apply that armor. I, I, I'm noticing that I've got a lot of cards that um, will cost zero mana, so that's going to be interesting to see um, how that plays into it. Oh, I have to choose a card to discard him. Um, oh, this is going to be interesting because some cards um, actually have something called... Um, oh, fuck, what's it called? Um, uh, penance or something? It's something we'll come up to it so that if you discard it, it automatically plays it. So I can see how that's going to pair well now, now that I look at it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to discard this one. Um, I wonder if it's going to go to my discard pile or to out of the... Uh, no, just discard. Okay, great. All right, so now I can use this to thin these guys out. Um, actually, you know what? Um, I don't... Well, let's see what happens when I do this. Oh, it automatically discards. Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he escaped. I, I should have killed him while, while I was talking about how important he would be. Ugh, that's dumb. All right, let's see what I got here. All right, more armor. Definitely going to go on him. I really want to pump him up because he's going to... Um, I don't really care about these guys up here because they cost nothing to bring in. Um, well, actually, you know what? Um, well, I'll do it once. Let's see what I got here. Oh, well, you know, that's not bad. Really, at this point, like these enemies are so um, pointless that it really doesn't matter. And turn because that, that it doesn't work. Okay, so this is the final wave. But like you can imagine in tower defense, <laughs> which I'm literally trained tower defense here, um, they have the strongest enemies. So this is basically the boss of this mob, and we're going to see what this guy does. But let's see, he has resolve. Add a weight of contrition card to the top of your draw pile. Okay, so these um um contrition cards they're like scourge cards or penance cards um they'll come with an ember cost that, um you need to use to discard them from your hand and it, it'll also come with a um, penalty if you don't and it'll normally be damage to your spire or something else um so you want to try to get rid of them if you can but generally the cost is so low that it's not too big of a deal um it's just something to keep in mind okay so let's see what we've got here um Basically, we, all we've got is spells here, so that is... This is going to be an interesting run. Um, so we just want to basically do that, and we have really nothing else we can do. Um, we just don't have... Okay, so my see my my um, hero could kill him. So once it's the last wave, um, you no longer... Um, once you end your turn, it no longer, you, you don't draw until the battles are fought all the way through. So um, it would, that was going to keep going back and forth until either my hero killed his or vice versa. Um, and then if I lost that battle, that hero would move up to the next floor and then I'd draw another hand, use up my ember, and then that would happen again all the way up until the pyre. And then at that point, it's just autoplay because you can't control the pyre. So I got some spoils, a pack of cards from each of my um, races and um, or guilds or whatever, and then 50 coins. I really should have killed that imp. So I need to choose a card here. Um, shit, um, both of these are actually pretty good. Uh, all of these are good. I would like to have all of these. Um, shoot, um, I'm going to pick Fledgling Imp because Rage I think is really important. <sighs> Should I have done that? Yeah, because I've gone with the Vent Heavy deck and it wasn't, wasn't all that I needed. Is it tuned new? Oh, yeah. Multiply the effects of magic power by five. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a really interesting run. Um, I 
like this card, but I don't have anything to really draw to. That was a tough one because none of them were great but okay so now you get a choice after you win each battle you have to choose whether you want to go um unit side which would be your battlers your demons or whatever um and if you want to get more of those units and build them up or if you want to go magical side and um basically build up your spells instead let's see let's see what my deck looks like okay i'm i'm not in great shape with units this is not a... No, I don't... I really don't know how to make this work right now. Because I don't want to really build up any of the... None of those spells are actually good for building up either. I mean, this is wor This is pointless because I don't have any imps in my deck. Oh, no, I take that back. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go... You know, I, I just don't... I think it's easier to build up your unit side, and at least you'll have chaff that you can use. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, you know what? I don't want to be here yet. Yeah, I can come back here in a second. Okay, so anyways, um, depending on which side you pick, um, you have access to either the Merchant of Steel or this one that's Merchant of Magic or you know, whatever. And then you get normally a new unit depending on which side you go to. So Stygian is over here, that would be a Stygian unit, or I can get a um, Hellhorn unit. I want Hellhorn unit because they tend to be better, or they're really, they're bruisers. Um, this guy can actually be really good if you pump him up right. Um, I've had him with like um, 30 health and then double strike or multi-strike, so he's basically just tearing through people. I like this guy better though, he's a new unit that I've not worked with yet, so I want to see if I can, what I can do with him quick. I think it means he can attack before the enemies do. Yeah, okay. Um, so upgrade with 5 attack and 10 health. Um, oh, I can't do... Oh, that's right. I can't do this to my... Um, which one I want? I don't want to see, this is the problem. I don't really have a good, good hand here. Get quick to any of these guys. <laughs> See, what I want to do is I want to get him something like Endless. I mean, I need to build up monsters because I just don't have... Might as well get... I might... I'm just going to make it so that he can so sop up as much damage as possible. Because I just really just don't have much else to go with right now. Okay. See. Oh, these are these guys are a lot of fun. They've got spikes, so you deal you get dealt damage when um, you attack them. Um, and he's got 200 health. Okay. Those guys are a lot of fun, and he's relentless, so he'll keep attacking us until we're the last boss. Okay. Oh, moves directly from the third floor to the f first to the third floor. Is it because of this guy? Okay. Oh, these are conduits. Okay. So, um, conduits basically, um, these guys are called the conduits, and they give new abilities to um, every other um, ally on their floor. Um, we're going to go with a lot of the same strategy here as we did last time. So we're going to put our commander down here. We're going to put down our new unit here. Good to see him on the floor already. And, um... <sighs> I want to get this guy on the board because I don't have anything. Oh, that's right, it's at random. Shit. Okay, well, that's good. These guys all have rage then, right? Yeah, okay, well, that's not bad. Um, I want to get rid of him. Okay, so there goes their haste. They're not going to get to the third floor anymore. I don't have to worry about that. Oh, fuck, they hit hard. Fuck, those units hit hard. That's not fun. Here has haste again. I don't want to use that on him. Go 
those guys hit hard. He's not going to survive anyways. I don't really, I don't really care if he goes to the third floor or not because my guy up here will kill him. Let's just take care of him, and then these guys will kill that. So I'll get 50. Okay. Let's see what I pick up here. Oh, that's actually really good. I'll uh, choose a card to discard. Um that for right now because I don't need it. Okay, so I'm going to be having to mill a lot in this deck. I mean, there's just no other... No other... Um, yeah, let's just fucking take care of them. It's going to go back in my um, discard. Okay. I, I, You know, I might have made a mistake by going um, creature heavy. Um, depending on what goes on in the next round, um, I, I, I'm going to have to go the other way because that was a mistake. Uh, oh, this... Um, well, I don't need it, though. That's the problem. But um, I would like to get that imp off there. Um, sacrifice imp. Um, draw one. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna fortify this guy. I don't have anybody to really fight. See if I get another creature card up here. Nope. Okay, well, that's kind of. Well, that didn't. I was hoping I would get a creature card that I could use, but I don't have any. Alright, now this is where. The rubber's gonna meet the road here. What does this ass want? Clergy. Okay, I need to get rid of these these conduits. The, the conduit, at the very least. Okay, I need to make sure that he's okay. I need to get rid of him. And I want to get rid of him, or at least do that um, to get rid of some of his armor. Um, that spike is still gonna suck. Um, I, I don't have anything to do with that yet. So we're gonna fight through this. It's just going to be a slog. You can actually speed these up with this button up here. Um, I just did because it, it, they, they don't take, they're not like oppressively long or anything. Yeah, that battle went pretty good. I, I'm still not liking this deck. Um, it, it's growing on me though. Okay, so what do I want here? I don't have, I don't have any consumable right now. I've got enough of those. I'm going to go with Ben. That's actually not a bad card for right now. This, this could be really good. This could be really good. This could be good against the boss. Um, increase the amount of damage dealt and help restore by spells. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that guy. I think that's gonna be good. That'll give me an extra unit, so. Um, so what we talked about, uh, of course, Stygian banners over there this time. Um, okay, so, all right. So we're gonna go this way so I can build up my magic because um, I, I've got so many spells, not a whole lot of monsters. All right, so one of the things we're gonna run into are these concealed caves. Um, they're a narrative element. Um, I'll get into a little bit of the background of it here or in a second. But basically, what happens is is that um, you come across a random event and you choose um, how you want to um, um, respond to it. So um, a lot of them are be like, do you want to give up? Um, like, what kind of card do you want to receive? And it's all narrative-based. Um, like, if you're generous, you get X, or if you're greedy, you get Y. Um, or you can sacrifice health or um, gold for certain rewards. Um, and so, like, there's consequences and pay and, and trade-offs for everything. Um, this one's no different. So anyways, um, this one is, um, I can either copy a card, which is pretty good, or I can have an, uh, I can throw in a card and have it copied five times, potentially. Um... Um, I have I've used this both times I've got this event, so I'm not sure what the unexpected side effects are. Um, I'm trying to look what card I would want to throw in there to um, it's this this guy. If I got five of him, that would um, solve my monster problem right away. See what happens. Oh fuck, that actually worked. Oh, I am set now. I'm in really good shape after that. Okay, perfect. All right, great. That is actually really good because though that is a pretty good card right now. Um, let's see, we got a new card coming in too. Um, what does resolve do? Every triggers after combat. Okay, yeah. So if this guy survives, he gains a ton. I don't need real beater anymore. <laughs> Um, because I've got six of them, or five of them at least, and then now let's see what Merchant of Magic is. Alright, so, um, 
this basically works exactly the same way as I did when I built up my monsters. Um, I'm going to pick um, ways to power up cards. This is great because it makes spells cost less em ember. I don't have a whole lot of ember right now, so that's good. Upgrades magic power, um, and then upgrades a spell to gain permafrost. That's actually really good too, because if I don't want to use a spell, I can keep it. Um, there's a, yeah, that, that's pretty good. Okay, well, first of all, I want to use this, because um, these cards I, I don't give a shit about. Um, I can't use it on... Uh, um, if I put a lower ember cost on this, it autom... So this one is like, it, it um, is ember X, where it multiplies. Like, if you played magic, you know exactly what it means. Um, so it deals two damage um, times X. If you put an ember on that, it just automatically starts with one. That's not bad. Um, but I think I want to make that free. Um, I don't really have a great option here. It's not bad. Um, and I, you know what, I think I'm gonna do that um, so that it deals, um, oh shit, 75 damage? Oh, that's right, by five, yeah, um, okay, perfect. Um, so that's 75, oh yeah, that's exactly, well, actually, I kind of lucked into that. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything I really want to put permafrost on that I want to keep. Yeah, see, I don't have, like, any, like, really good spell card that if I got it near a boss battle, I'd want to be able to hold on to it for a while. So I can save 120 gold by not, uh, not um, just wasting it on something. Close the architect. Okay, so oh, am I already at the third boss? Okay, so this is the um, third ring of hell, or you know, angel. Um, you'll notice their dialogue is they don't know if they actually want to be doing what they're doing. It's kind of interesting. I the lore in this is actually kind of neat. I kind of want to delve into it. Okay, what does she have? Push back, push the attack to unit to the back, and 450 and 7. Okay, well, she's gonna be, f she's not gonna be too bad, that's not bad. Um, every unit she puts in has 5 armor though, that's not, I mean, that's, I, that's not prohibitive. Oh shit, my middle, my middle floor is just dynamite right now, I mean, look at that, if, <sighs> um, the only thing I hate is that he's in front. That's the only thing I hate about that flow right now. Let's get Mike Manor in there. Okay. I want to get rid of this priest because I don't want them healing anybody. Oh, but I don't have a card to do that right now. Um, I, you know what? That might not be a huge... Oh, that might not be a huge problem, actually. Um, I can do this right now and see if I can get something better. Um, wait... Um, do I have an... I don't think there's an imp on the board. There's not. Okay. Oh, this is actually good. This is actually not bad. Okay. Good. That actually worked out well. Because, um... This will help me out here right away. Um, I'll end this turn. <laughs> She's already getting hit. Okay, so... Well, they've got the range still. That's not great. But, um, we can deal with that, um, when it arrives. God, look at how many of these rail meters I've got. That's fucking nuts. Okay. We're gonna put him up here, because I really don't have any place else to put him. see I don't have um you, oh yeah I forgot to mention this so you see how there's two little circles here um each floor has a certain number of spaces that you can see like we're right well, right here so right now each floor has five spaces what makes this card so good this relic I think at the, at the beginning is that I'm getting more than five spaces in my middle floor so it's like a complete house there um and then up here my biggest problem is having these wasted spaces which is a, which is a pain okay I want to get rid of that guy because he's a healer can't do anything with this. Can I do anything with him? No, because honestly, like all my spaces are full right now. Kind of sucks that I can't use him, but you know, what can you do? He's gonna die, but he'll, he'll go back into my right Oh, well, maybe he won't die. Okay. Same problem with him. Get rid of that guy. Oh, this is actually cool. Okay, yeah, let's do this. So, when he comes on the board, he gives everybody three rage. That includes increases attack by six. Um, and then he'll get knocked, he'll act as a human shield for the first person, and then go back into my discard, and then I can pull him up again later. So, it's actually a great card um, for that reason. This guy, little guy, is going to die, which is unfortunate because I like him. But let's just, you know. We can't, what does she do? Oh, that bitch. Uh, my um, hero's taking a little bit more damage here than I would, I would prefer. Look out here. Yeah, 
so I want to fortify him. What does he do in camp? Oh, he gets extra spell power if I play a spell on that floor. I play this. Six damage to take out one. I could lose my hero here, though. I don't want that. Let's do this. What do we pick up? What do I want to get rid of? I'm actually bent, because that, that, um, actually, you know what? Um, actually, I think I want to get rid of this. So I've got a plan here. Um, but I want to get rid of this guy. This, oh wait, that, oh shit, I was thinking the hammer. Um. My mom looks buddy would help here. Um. And those guys are. My top row is actually pretty good too because of. Um, I would love to. Um, but I don't have any imps in play, and I don't have any imps. See, see, I'm. I think what I'm going to do next time because I've got so many low-level spells is increase my. Um, you'll see what I mean here in a second. Um, increase my. Um, the floor space. So I'm just gonna buff him a lot, um, and then I'm gonna hold off because I hear I really can't do it. How's she doing? She's only got five. Um, she'll kill him, but my guy right here will kill her, and then I can actually make that floor a little bit stronger, I think. Yeah, because he's two spaces. Train stewards are nice just for chaff, but um, once you get better enemies, you really just need to use them for um, basically as yes, human shields. Okay, so now we're at the final wave. All right, let's see how let's see what we're gonna do here. Oh good. Oh, that's really good. I'm just gonna let her be. Um, do I have one of those? Yes, I do. Okay. What do I pick up? Uh, a train steward? A train steward? I, I really don't need him at the moment. Um, discard him. So I'm basically, I'm gonna leave her be and let these guys take care of it. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just basically gonna use all my spells on her. Torch is worthless. It's nice that you can direct it towards um, a unit in the back, but it only deals two damage. So it's, um, see, that's great because I have to dispel a card for that, and I didn't have any cards, so I didn't have to actually waste any cards, which was really great, actually. Hey, we're going through the song and dance again. I wonder if we can get through her. No, no, I'm having more to I think we are. Yeah. Okay, see, we, we just, because of the way we set everything up there, we didn't even have to worry about her at all. That was, a, that was an easy fight. I'm pretty happy with how that went. Okay. Rare pack. Oh, this right here is bonkers good. If you have enough ember for it. Um, I'm going to take that because if you have ember, it is really, really good. Don't need rail beater anymore. And can't gain two rage. Would I use that? I do have that imp that well, but that the imp actually works better with him. I do have a ton of spells though. Um if I put her on the ground floor with my or any you know what? I like this card a lot more. Because of how it affects all rage, but this is a lot of rage to give up. I'm gonna take her. Okay, and then here's the problem. Ideally, I would have um, gone with capacity, um, but now I'm thinking Fells Remorse because of that Zap card is so good. Um, I gotta think about this for a second. Uh, I'm a Envy. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Um, I had some time to think about this. And all right, so after you beat every ring, or the first two rings, the third ring, it doesn't really matter. Um, 
you get a choice of whether you want one more ember um, per hand, one more card per hand, or one more um, capacity per hand. Um, as a rule of thumb, I generally go with ember because it gives you so much more flexibility. Um, but considering that I've got a low, my, all the cards on my deck are so cheap and I have a floor problem already um, with all my big bruisers, I'm going to go with this one so I can get more units per row. Um, that also increases the amount of life my um, pyre has and it um, 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 gives it uh, more attack power. So it, there's a lot of good things going on there. Um, I don't, okay, so now I have a choice here and this is actually important for a couple of different reasons. Um, Right now, I would say that this, the way going this way is clearly better, but in some circumstances this would be better, and I'll explain why. So, if I went left here, this is an unstable vortex, and um, it requires me to remove two cards from my deck. That is pretty good right now for me, because I've got cards in here that I do not want. Um, I'd get rid of these torches, maybe I'd actually probably get rid of some of these train stewards. Um, um, so like discard uh, the ability to, to, to discard cards for free is actually pretty good um i can pay to do that at the shops but it costs i think 75 gold coins also it has this um hoard here so i'd be able to get another um artifact um and then if i had taken damage in the last round this gives me 20 pyre health so there's definite advantages for going this way and at the end i can upgrade my champion this way i'm going to go for because i don't need most of that stuff um, I can duplicate a card here that is good. I can get 75 coins, pick up a new unit, and then upgrade my champion. So this time, it's like this is a clear winner, but there are merits here as well. Alright. Um, so let's do this. Let's get my coins. Let's check out what kind of unit I can get. Okay, so um, this guy is pretty good because he can act as a tank. Clearly, he's got a shield and everything, but um, every time you cast a spell on the floor that he's on, he gains three armor. Um, and you can actually upgrade that in the shops, so he can actually build up quite a bit of armor quickly. Um, he hits okay, five's not bad, but um, whatever. Um, he's, an, he's an okay card. This one I've not used before, but I'm interested in it. Um, because I've got a ton of spells, and every time she attacks, it applies one spell weakness, and that includes onto the boss, um, who the end boss, as you see, goes along the side of the train, so they're up for damage whenever. And um, she sweeps, which means um, she'll hit every unit on the row, which is pretty cool. She's got like an ivy um, chain sword here. Or if you ever saw Brotherhood of the Wolf, um, they had a chain sword in that, which is fucking awesome. If you haven't seen Brotherhood of the Wolf, um, watch that immediately. Well, I actually recommend you just go watch it now. It's a French action movie. Um, um, I, th I think set pre-revolutionary France. Um, it's got Monica Belushi in it. It's the only actor I think you'll recognize right off the bat, off the top of my head. But it is pretty amazing. He's a um, French hunt nobleman that's sent out to a provincial village to um, hunt a um, killer wolf. It is really... It's, it's, it's amazing. Okay. So I picked her. See how we roll with it. Okay, now Hellvent. It can duplicate any card but my champion. Um, there's some decent choices here, including her. That's not bad. He's not a bad choice. I'm not going to do her. Also not a bad choice. I have got too many of him as it is. This is not a bad choice. That's a really good choice, actually. I, I kind of want to do this one. I don't need any. 25 damage and it doesn't consume zero yeah i'm gonna do that okay so instantly spending money on that card has doubled its value that's good okay so now i've got another choice here okay now every slay it gains 15 armor and then gains three rage on revenge that's wrathful too that's the, and then brawler now is um he gets 10 armor multi-strike every slay gains 10 armor Revenge gets. I, you know, Wrathful's just better. I don't like Brawler that much. Okay, now we're on to the next battle. On to Clipped. These guys generally, um, um, are a pain in the ass, actually. I really don't like them. They put a lot of, um, debuffs on you. In my experience. Alright, let's see what I've got in my middle row. Um, eh, stewards, that's fine. One rail beater, but um, at least I don't have to worry about those guys coming up in my hand. Put up the guy. Um, 
Oh, this is... Oh, I, I really like the way this is looking right now. Okay. I'm gonna put him in the bag because he's, he's spongy. Put this guy in front of him. You know what? I'm just gonna give this to my um, hero because I really need him to stay alive. And then I still got one left to kill that person in the back. Okay, we are actually set up pretty golden here. And then this guy, I didn't get any spells to attack with yet, but once I do, it's gonna be fire. Oh, yeah. oh, you know what? I can put her. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's still shit. Kill my own guy. I'm gonna save her and try to use her later. I want to use her now. You know what? I you know what? I don't. I think this is actually not bad. I can do this. These guys could. I wonder. Will this count as an encant? Let's see. Uh, yes, it does. Oh, that is that is nice. Oh, I was hoping she would give everybody a rage on that. Okay. That's actually nice. I can pump her up a lot. I, I don't know if it goes down if she's not attacking, though. I mean, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, it, do, it does go down even if she's not um, attacking. That's unfortunate, but, you know, we, got, we can mitigate for that. Oh, that's actually really cool. Ah, uh, no, see, I've already, I'm already running into the same problem. I, I don't have enough space here. Um, yeah, all my units are too big, and I've only got this person. Okay, well. Yeah, my problem's not going to be Ember. It's going to be space. I actually might do that next time, too, depending on what happens here. Or if I beat the next boss. Um, okay. Man, if I had an imp to sacrifice, I'd think about it. Just to make room. Well, there's no... Oh, yeah, with him? Okay, okay, so... Let's check this out. Alright, this guy gives my f eight magic power on this floor. And then this is... This card... Oh, wait, where is it? This card deals 115 damage. It's gonna be so great. That, that guy's just gonna disappear. Um, I'm gonna buff him up just because he's in front. Um, I don't want to use that card because it's consumed. Um, I wonder if I can I I can I no I can't sacrifice him if I don't have one. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that card for later. <sighs> Not happy that that already happened. Um, hmm. That's fine. He's he's gonna go to the discard pile, or he's gonna go to my graveyard once he gets killed. I'd like to put endless on guys like this because they go back to the top of your deck. So like you put them up front so that they get killed, and then they immediately go back to their hand. It's fantastic. It is really good. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so I've got her. Um, she's the rage queen. So what I'm gonna do? I'm actually, this is actually gonna be fun. All right, check this out. Um, oh oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah I'm fine I'm fine. Okay, so she's gonna build up a shit ton of range here. This is gonna be real fun. Oh wait, maybe not. Well, not as much as I thought, but she just built up six rage from that. And I, I didn't lose anything for doing it. Okay, this guy's not gonna be fun, but he might get knocked back by this rail beater. Um, oh god. Oh god damn. Oh, this is so good. Oh, but it's at random. Oh, I hope I get to use both of these. Oh, that would be so much fun. Don't mind it. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. Damn it, I knew I... You can't, that's why you can't have nice things. I'm just gonna keep trying to keep her pumped up. They, they just killed my and once oh that's right once they kill one of your guys they become a um huge they become like a liability um, you'll see here if, if I ever have to draw again that did look like I'm gonna have to. well maybe not yeah see we're we're like we're in really good shape here okay.
All right. Other than losing some to my spire, that, that was the only thing I'm really worried about. Um, return a random consume spell. How many consume spells do I have? Normally it says um, if, you're, if it comes up in your hand. <laughs> um, that one. Um, that's a consumed spell. God, that one. That other one is really good though. Let me go with that. that uh, having being able to use that rat spell would be really good. Oh, this is the offering card. Okay, so if um I can play this card for free, a three ember spell for free, if I um choose it as a discard, um, which is what I'm gonna do. Although that's really good too. Actually, all three of these are pretty good, but I want that. I'm gonna pair that with that um, draw a card, hopefully. Okay. See, here's my unstable vortex. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be clutch here in a second. The horde. I'm not gonna be able to upgrade any of my guys here, which is fine because as I I think all my monsters are in pretty good shape as it is. Okay. Um. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Unstable vortex. I want to get rid of this first. Um, what am I getting rid of? I want to get rid of torch. I also want to get rid of these guys. I think I'm gonna remove these because I can. I can work with those. I like the trans steward. I think that's a cool graphic. Who do I want to duplicate? God, that'd be good to duplicate. This would be good to duplicate. So Frostbite basically, um, you stack Frostbite on them and it deals damage over time. It's really nice. But it, de it decreases over time as well. If I duplicate this and I have that imp, assuming that I... If I use it, I could use this up to three times per match. Um be helpful. But this I could use a bunch of times per match with not because uh, it costs nothing. It's basically just winning spells. I, I, I'm between these three. I'm going to go with this one because um, that deals damage to everybody on the floor and it, that's, that's, well, what, and, uh, hmm. Oh, and I can use it for free. Okay. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if that was the right choice. Alright, at the end of the turn apply frozen to a random card in your hand. What does frozen do? Oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh. Oh, I feel like this is gonna defeat the purpose of my hand though. Because I don't have anything that's more that's that much more than one. Okay, that 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 would have been good with other um other decks, but for mine um it's just not. You know what? And I want to turn this on to get a bunch of coins. I I think I can beat these guys no problem. So they're gonna have 15 armor here, but if I win this fight, um I'll get 150 coins, which is clutch. Oh yeah, they're never gonna make it through the middle of this uh, gauntlet. Put my guy down here. Um, what does he do? Resolve, gain five armor. Um, is two. Oh, I don't have the card. I need to do exactly what I wanted to do with that yet. Uh, that's okay. I'm gonna. Oh, you know what? I got an idea for this. Okay, so um, first of all, or is he? okay, so he has ten attack, and at the end of after end of combat, he gets five armor. Combat's gonna be happening a lot before he gets sees anybody. He'll have a shit ton of armor by the time we get up here, theoretically. Okay, well, we'll see how that works. Hold on. Okay, and then I need this guy down here. Um, I'm not gonna put him in because um, I don't wanna waste the um, bases on him. But of course they froze that one. Of course they would do that, assholes. Um, 
Yeah, I really like... I'm gonna put her here so that she gets spell weakness to everybody here every single time they come up. Um, I'm not gonna use him yet because there's just no reason to. I wanna kill him for gold. Um... I don't wanna do this. What I... Um, I should just... Yeah, I'm just gonna play him and not... Get cute here. Well, you know what? Maybe I will get cute. Let's see what I get. I'm discard a card. Yeah, I want to discard that guy because I don't want him frozen in my hand. Um, I don't have an imp on the board, so there's nothing to do. Okay, that's actually good. I can actually use it. Um, later on in the smash. Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right, we got that. She's good. Um, where do I want to put her? Hmm. Yeah, and I got the card, but I can't. I can't use it the way I want to. Gave her a ton of rage. It's great. She's um, it, she's gonna do her really well against him here in a second. Other than that, I really, uh, you know what? I kind of just didn't pay attention to anything except for what I was trying to park around with up there. I, I shouldn't have. I, I should have actually moved more seriously there. Okay, come on, tell me I got the card I want. No, still no. I don't have any space for my mollusk friend, which is unfortunate. But I can't get for more range. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I want to keep anybody from getting up there. It's frozen. He's dead. She's got more rage. She's just building up rage over here. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh my god, I still can't play him. Um, there's no reason for this. Let's just do that. Let's kill him. Did that kill any of them? Normally, these guys wouldn't even have made it up here, but they used to start off with 15 extra hit points. Look at how many cards I've got. Um, this guy's already got 20 armor. I, I, it's not as good as I thought, um, because he just gets 5 per turn, but still, I mean, he'll have you know, 25 armor by the time the boss comes. Oh, my little mollusk friend is here. Okay, great. Oh, fuck yeah, finally. Um, oh, but I... Oh, yeah, I do still have it. Oh, fuck. Do I want to do this now? Yes. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, who do I want to deal this to? These guys are probably going to die up here. All right, so I want to do um, um, Offering Token, which actually would be better on the um, Choose a Card to Discard. I want to discard Titan's Tooth. Yes, all right, so I just got to play a three three cards for free. Um, I want her to build up rage, so I'm just gonna nuke that guy with that. This friend. Um, I don't even have anything on my discard behind. Um, but I could play that. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna get him back, so I'm gonna do that. Um, and let's see, I still have two mana left. That's nuts. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna play him so she gets more rage. Yeah, she's already, she's gone from 5 to 33 just because of rage as far as attack. <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty fun. And she'll, she only goes down by one attack point um, per turn. Or I guess two, maybe, because that's one rage. Yeah, okay. Alright, so this is the boss. This person's an asshole. Um, not, a t yeah, so she basically gets eight free attacks before um, I can do anything to her, which is super annoying. I, I really do hate her quite a bit. Um, so she'll probably deal, um, like, ah, god, she is such a pain in the ass, I really, I really fucking hate her. Um, same thing, um, gonna do this, build up the rage on that, on that, on that, um, person. Um, I really can't do anything else now because I don't have any space, um. I, I hate this person so much because she basically can clear out an entire thing like that. 
I'm in a little bit of bad shape now. Um, let's see. I want to do this. Actually, I know exactly what I want to do. Okay, so do that. Build up her rage some. Um, which card? This card, please. Okay, good. It did not get rid of that. Um, I'd, I'd, I wish I had one of those stupid um, things, but I don't. I... You know, I was pulling up those uh, those pearl things the entire time, and then as soon as I get this card, I want to play it. I don't have it. All right, but I do want to play this. Fuck her. So now she's got less power, and she can't do jack shit. Then. So, you know, fuck her. I really can't do that. I'm doing pretty good here. She might, she might not make it. It was level. She's in bad shape. Just hammering her with these guys. <laughs> it's really crap. <laughs> Look at that. That one was pretty fun. I wish they hadn't gotten up to my pyre, but they didn't do much damage. I really hate that character because of that stealth mechanic. It they just plow through something. Okay, this spell's actually really good, but the problem is it deals 100 damage to everything, so it's basically like a, a stage wipe, or like a, a floor wipe. Um, I'm gonna go with this guy. Um, and the reason is, is because I want to have Ember. I want to be able to try to build up Ember at some point. This is really fun. Oh, this would be fun to use with those pearls too. You know what, I'm gonna roll with that. Maybe I can duplicate that card at some point. Um, Merchant of Magic. Oh, I like this. Oh, and the coins. Oh, but I... Let's see. They don't need anything on this. I don't have any. I don't... Yeah, I don't need that. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. I know exactly what I wanna get rid of. These guys. Sorry, buddy. Let's go to the Merchant of Magic. Yeah, upgrade a spell to remove consume and it costs plus one. So like that this is what I'm gonna do here. What? What happened to my horse? Oh I didn't I didn't grab that one. Was that not eligible? Oh, because it's offering, not consume. He, okay, alright, well, that's fine, because actually being able to use that more would be pretty good. The only problem is that it weakens the... You know what, you know what, I think it actually get that, that defeats the purpose of my imp, too. I think I've got two of, I thought I had two of these. Um, let's do this first. <laughs> I can, I can just, I could buff it. I thought I had two of these. Oh no, maybe I, I duplicated this one. That's what I ended up doing. This card can be really good on the final boss. Uh, you know what? You know what, I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it so that it, I, it um, that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, now I don't have any cards that are consumed, so if I need to, I can get rid of, um... Plus 10 magic power. Do I want to do that on anything? Or do I just want to use that to reroll? Um, I think I just want to do that to reroll. 10 magic power at this point isn't that great. Um, okay. Stack stone. Upgrade a spell to gain double stack and cost... Okay, oh shit. That's right, um...
be this one why not because i'm my entire goal here is to um play it for free You know, and I could mitigate the cost of that too if I wanted to. But again, points to play it for free. Um, that's also to play for free. All those are to play for free, so there's no point in putting making them cost less, right? Well, I wouldn't need to worry about that quite so much with that one if it didn't cost three. Then it's just not that great. It wasn't just on that floor. Would I rather have Sinab, increases their attack, or this one that would deal, over time deals a ton of damage? I don't know if that was right. free play it twice yeah okay well all right man we're, we're let's see how this works can't reroll again okay. don't get an upgrade on my titan my hero there he's powers arcasar shards infinities oh yeah okay um blooming shard and shattering dark shard these um what do these do This is a weird one. Apply one to spells in hand. Okay. One of my units dies on the floor. Okay, so this is going to be like that other one. Remember where we played those shackled guys? And if they killed one of my guys, um, it would go into my next hand that I had to discard. I don't think we saw it because I killed them before that happened. All right, let's uh, show this bitch how we do things downtown. Uh, I get seven. Jeez, I kind of wish that he hadn't spawned there because I don't really have seven to play. But you know, whatever. Figures, I really can't complain with um, how this has turned out right now. completely load up my first floor with rail meters. Um, why is nothing got frozen? Oh, I because I didn't have any cards. Um, okay. Um, do, how do I want to do this? This. I'm, I'm probably I'm not going to be able to get my models to buddy. Um, no, I'm not. Um, it's okay. This is important. Um, and then I can actually sacrifice that imp later because that card is going to be frozen because I'm going to deal two damage to something. Hopefully this person. Oh, not enough ember. Shit. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't freeze torch. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, please. Let me get that um, card now. There's my Molex. Molex buddy. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see if I can have it. It's my card that I want on there. Uh, I have no space for her. Okay. Yeah, I want to do this. Uh, this, I don't want. The Dark Spider thing, because that incantation play spell. Why? Okay. That. Shit. Well, maybe if I. Well, I didn't get what I wanted. Isn't that always the case? Um, I really can't do anything with this hand. I can play that. That's about it. Um. Sorry, Mollusk Buddy. I actually really like that arm. Alright, um, where do I want to play that? I guess here, because it's not going to matter um, after I play it, and it'll deal damage to the boss. And it's going to be, um, you know, since so they cost one more, I don't have any converts anyway. Oh, 
good. Okay, so what do we got here? Fuck. Oh, I can... Okay, that's not bad. Um, not... Actually, that, that could have been... That could have been better. Um, this is actually not, not, not as good. Not, not what I was hoping for. What? I wonder what happened. No, because it's not. Okay. Okay. No. Ah, uh, because of that fucking ember, it's going to ruin everything for me. But that's okay. That's okay. And we're going to apply sap to all those guys, so they're not going to be able to do much. Oh, that's that. Oh, and that didn't count for his stupid thing because I didn't play it. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, oh, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do now, right? Okay, so because that came out with that discard, it didn't count against me. All right, all right. This is gonna be great. All right, watch this. I wish I had that card though. That would have been fun. Okay, so I'm gonna use my um, sacrifice imp. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna sacrifice that imp. He's gonna. Uh, so now I've got four ember. Uh, and oh Jesus. Okay. Now I'm gonna play this um, spike of Stygian. Um, double right. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna play that. I should be able to play that on the boss. Yeah, I can. So he's now got. He's gonna be picking for twenty for the next or you know twenty descending for the next um, twenty turns, and he's got zap, so he doesn't really deal much damage. Although I don't think that's gonna be a big deal right now. Um, and then while I'm at it, which which guy do I want to get rid of? Do I want to get rid of him or him? No, he's dead. Um, I, I let's see what else do I got here. Oh, I want to apply armor first, of course. <laughs> Duh. Um. I can't play that, but I can't play this. Um, and it really doesn't matter. This guy's gonna be dead anyways. Uh, I don't want him to get too cocky, so. Um, all right, we're in good shape, and hopefully, if I'm lucky, my fir that card will get frozen. I was not. Okay. That's okay. I really wish that it got through some that would have been much better. Oh, okay, then I've got an imp with rage. Oh, okay. So I've got a stone here. Um, oh, I got that guy. That's not bad. Um, actually, you know what? Um, I don't have the card I need to do. Um, you know, I, I want to play this this card last. Because um, I'd like to get it on that boss and might as well just attack him. Um, what do I want to do here? Is, um, is there an imp that I don't have yet? Shoot. Um, oh no, okay, okay. Oh, that's right, because that would have been that. Alright. Sorry, I'm talking to myself and not making a whole lot of sense here. Ugh. It really doesn't matter now. Um, well, it sort of does, actually. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna do this. No, but that, I might as well just use the one that's not frozen. Okay, because they've got spell weakness, can't play that, but I can play this. But I want to play it up here, so it attacks the boss as well. So I just put more frostbite on the boss. So they've got 29 frostbite now, and there's still three waves going. They've got, they've got a lot of damage to uh, suffer before um, they even get on the train, or on the board, if you will. Uh, that's good, because these guys are self-sufficient anyways, I don't need to worry about them. What did it freeze this time? Ah, oh, God. Oh, there's a, oh, there he is. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, I got this guy. I, oh, I can't do that because it's not an offer. Um, so I don't need to worry about that, but I can't. <laughs> Let's see, what can I do? I can apply two zap to him. Um, see what comes up after that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, what came up after that? Oh, this guy did. Oh, didn't I already have that on my hand? Do I want to do sap? Oh yeah, because they both have offering, but sap costs more, so I'll be able to do more with that. Okay. Oh, that's plus two because I, it got affected by that at one point. These, card, these cards are actually kind of shit right now. Can't use him. Um, I might as well use him um, and just add more to him. There's no point in some of this other stuff. 
Well, my frozen cards aren't great. It really doesn't matter. They're just going to be in the way if I throw them. Would have liked some other stuff done, that's for sure. Okay, what is this? When you play a spell on the floor, play one. And, um... Okay, well, shit. That kind of sucks. Because I'd like to do something else with that. Ah, how come I never get that card when I want it? What do I have in my bouncing pile? It's a guy. But he, I, he, he won't come back with that M. I mean... I guess. Um... You know, if I'm going to use two, I might as well just use this one, because I, I don't... Are they all two? Why is that one two? Oh. Oh, I'd love to put this one to Rage Queen in battle. Oh, I'm just gonna use that. Oh, not enough ember. So what do I have that I can use? Uh, nothing really. Um, is it not logged in on? Yeah, I can't use my mom. Oh, oh, it froze my Rage person. That's awesome. Alright, great. That's exactly the one I would have kind of hoped that she had frozen. Or had gotten frozen. Okay, so this is the final wave. Now we're gonna have to deal with this guy, and he's got 41 frostbites. <laughs> he's got 41 frostbites, so and four, seven saps. Um, but he's relentless. Okay, that's not a problem. And he's got one spell weakness, and he's gonna get more because of her. She's gonna add a ton of spell weakness to him in the next um, little bit. So I'm not gonna use that right now. I'm gonna wait till um, basically if he if he gets past this room. Um. Oh, oh God. Uh, huh. Oh, 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 okay, um, fuck, there's too many cards in here that I don't want to sacrifice, but we're gonna, but what got, but what got, um, but do I still have it? Yes, I still do, and I still have that, um, oh, yeah, yeah, all right, here we go, that thing is hitting him pretty good, which I like, oh, wait, that only hit him for 75 that time, that's fine, um, See what I draw. What did I get? Sacrifice and that's not great. Look at how many M's I've got in my hand. Um, actually, I kind of hope that that gets. Um, you know, I'm not going to be able to use him, so. Uh, unfortunately. But I can use this person. Um, do I have any spaces open? Yeah, I'm, I'm full. Okay, so that's going to be the end of me. Alright, as far as moving. has 33 frostbite and seven spell weaknesses so the next spell he'll take eight times damage from <laughs> that's insane um i don't want to use that one. Oh, come on i didn't get anything good to, to fuck with him with oh my god that didn't use up any of that i'm not gonna waste eight times with that stupid thing now eight times that isn't bad I, I, God, if I'd had one of those 75 spells, that would have been just ludicrous. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cast any that shit. Let's see what I come up with on my next draw if he makes it through it. Okay, that he's made it a little bit further than I expected. I'm giving credit for that. Okay. Oh shit, that's right. That that counted as <laughs> that counted as spell damage, or you know, he loses a spell weakness um, during combat. Um, well, what do I have? How, how do I want to fuck with this guy? Um, he's pretty close to dying anyways. Um, let's see what we've got here. This thing is gonna mess him up. This thing is gonna mess him up here in a second. Um, it's not gonna help as much as, um, oh, I wanna do, I wanna do this. No, um, no, oh, shoosh, I, well, okay, I wanna do this first. Get him some more frostbite, now he's weaker, and then I'm just gonna kinda do him with this thing. So he's down to 141 health, and these guys are these guys will run, run him over. Awesome. That was a one-turn boss rush. Oh, okay. Well, 10%. I would have liked more, but you know what can you do? Rare pack, that's good. And major enhancement. Okay, well I could get an I've already got a bunch of those. Higher bound attuned. Deal 90 damage to the front enemy unit. Ooh, and attuned.
can only be played in the pyre room and the floor below it. Oh, that kind of sucks. But, um, actually, that actually might be good because, um, I haven't made it past this, um, round yet. Or this, um... Let's see. One is not going to really help me out with my, um, spacing problem. Will it? You know, it, at that point, I was actually running into a little bit more problems with, um... Um, needing more ember than uh, needing more space, but that was close. I, I was kind of I was considering it. I'd love to get this horde. Oh, and trinkets. Oh, fuck. Got a ton of gold. Might need it. I don't need the pyre though. <sighs> the trinkets are what's going to make it worth it. Oh man, the extra gold. Okay, well that's the way we're going. Um, neither one of these are that impressive. I'd love all three of those. Let me think. I could play Frozen cards for, for free, but I really don't think... It's not really a problem. This. Okay. That's, that's not all right. All right, that's... Yeah. I think I think that's gonna work out. 40-40, 50-25, multi-strike, armor, gain 15 armor and revenge gain. Oh uh, um still though, but multi-strike. Multi-strike is good because it'll be hitting multiple people. The guys in the back tend to be squishy. Conduit guys again. What do they have here? Nifil, the wingless general. Relentless, of course. What? It's damaged. But it's sort of oh, Jesus. Yeah, so they get multi strike. Oh, is that worth 400 gold, do you think? I, I think I can still be. Yeah, that's worth 400 gold. That's that's pretty good. Okay, Let's see if we can do this. Come on. Uh, well, that's not great. Because I have nothing to bring back. Oh, they have a ton of. Now, well, not starting off great. I would prefer there not be two imps up there. That's good. to make sure that I don't have any cards. Oh, no, I don't have that option. Either one of those cards is fine, but I'd really like to have that frozen early. Uh, what did I, I, oh good, I didn't take that one then, right? Yeah, okay, good. Right. Um, I don't want this one to be frozen, so I'm gonna have to put it into play. Um, you know, that's not bad. Um, I probably should have put him in front so he gets, um, weeded out. Okay, good. So I don't have to worry about that, having that card come up for the rest of my runs. The one I can wait on. Yeah, I lost one of my guys. It's okay. 
I can already replace him. The rage doesn't decrease, right? Yeah, that's great. Um, it's an offering, right? Um, but I really just want to keep building up her rage to see how high I can get it. Did I go on my discard? No. Good. Phew. For my consume. Okay, good. I'm, I'm all set. Because he's going to get frozen, so I can just bring him back. That's not going to kill the her in, but I don't have any space for her. Yeah, well. I don't have anything that can do an offering, do I? Okay, well I took away one of the cards that I was going to play. Um... Give me one of the offering ones. Oh, I haven't done it yet. Oh, but it doesn't matter because. Of... Well, maybe I'll get something that I can get anyways. Um, do I want to hold on to him? Yeah, I think I'd rather hold on to him. So he'll get frozen. I'm wasting four effort though. That kind of sucks. I would have rather not done that. Good, I have those guys. That's, uh, shit, I didn't realize I'd gotten up that high. No, that's not good. How's he doing? Oh, 92. What's that? Jeez. I hate those cards. Oh. Oh, I really want to get. This card frozen. <laughs> How do I do that? That'll oh, help. No, I, I really I'll see I wanted to get saved with that one. If that one or this one gets saved so that I can sacrifice him, that'd be great. could make it automatic that this guy is going to come up, um, but that would be a waste because I'll lose it. Yeah, I'll lose the flexibility later. I really need to do better about that. Um, oh, yeah, you know what? Um, oh, she's dead already. Oh, well, fuck her. Great. Why, in God's name, can't I get those two cards yet? They probably because they know I want to do it. Okay, I need to go. I can take him out as much as possible before I. Um, well, it's going to discard any card around. Oh, that's not going to matter. I'm set up on both of them. New curve. What did I lose? I didn't lose the card I wanted. Good. Or one of the cards I needed. Alright, then. See, my problem is I'm not too I'm actually in trouble here. I'm in a lot of trouble here. Oh, this is not good. Actually, really bad. I think I think I'm in some trouble here. Let's see if I can get something. No, no, I did not. Um, that will deal six. Um, all right. That for later. 
should have killed that guy earlier. Why didn't I do that? Get a chance to play her anyways. Okay. That's right. God, that was dumb of me. Okay, I'm actually kind of screwed here. I, I, I might not make it through this one alive, folks. I might have not planned this well at all. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. Oh god, that was such a bad run. Oh, that was really pathetic. I had everything set up for me to win that one. See, so you, you get better as you um, level up, so like I'll have better cards. I'm really disappointed with the way that ended. See, you have an incentive to keep playing, so like, it, 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 you know, it's like anything. It's not necessarily all skill based on how you do, but fuck, I'm I'm really sick that I that I fucked that one up because I I really had everything in place for that one. Ah, uh. well, hey everybody, um, thanks for joining me for that run. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I expected, but um, I'm you know I, I'm okay with how it ended up. I I think I could have won that one. I had a lot in my favor, and I um, it just didn't work out in the end. Um, but, you know, that's the way it happens. You, even the best Magic players lose every once in a while, or, you know. So, um, anyways, thanks for joining me. Um, my name's Mortlock. Um, this is um, a network we're putting together um, for gamers um, like ourselves. Um, there's, a, there's about three of us right now that are involved. We've got some more people that are interested. But what our plan is, is to provide content to you that's the exact same content that we want to see. Um, and so the content I really like watching is stuff like speedruns, where the speedrunner talks you through um, what he's doing. Or um, like a Northern Lion back in the day, I think he still does it, but used to d narrate while he was doing a um, Binding of Isaac run, which I always thought was really interesting, because you can see the thought process behind it more than just people clicking or making stupid irreverent jokes or stuff like that. Um, not that we won't be doing fun stuff, just like our, we're not going to be like um, um, clowns for lack of a better term, um, but to each his own. You know, a lot of people like that stuff, so that's great. I just wanted to make stuff that I want to watch, and this is it. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Um, I will see you next time.